Well, late this afternoon, the strategically important maker of plastics, ethylene and polyethylene Quenos, was placed into administration. The collapse follows the sale of the company from its Chinese owner, ChemChina, to Australian property developer, Logos. The administrator, Jason Preston of McGrath Nichols, said it's the intention to close Quenos's botany plant in Sydney, but to seek options to keep open or to sell its other plant in Altona in Melbourne. But, as we've told you before, this collapse is all about a lack of reliable supply of gas plus a lack of competitiveness for Australian industry. Helen Melissa is a director of One Planet Consulting and joins me now. Helen, many thanks for your time. You've worried about this potential closure of Quenos for a long time. Why have you been so concerned? Oh, I've been concerned about it because Australia needs polyethylene. It needs polyethylene to make pipe. It needs polyethylene to make food packaging. Uh, the plant that is proposed for closure which now is uh, instrumental in Australia. It's been the backbone for Australia's modern life and our manufacturing capacity for decades. And for them to call in the administrators is a sorry day for us. And hopefully not a sign of the future for other Australian manufacturers that also rely on gas, but also on polyethylene for this country. But it seems odd to me that the government only last week announced a policy to try and encourage and incentivise new industry here in Australia. And yet one week later, today, we lose an industry that is crucial to this country in providing, if you like, a strategically important product. Indeed. And look, this goes back through generations, unfortunately, or decades. Uh, the decision to have, uh, I call it almost a flat earth theory, that we should be the one country in the world that doesn't have gas reservations for its own manufacturing base, the only country in the world, seems absurd to me. Uh, all other countries that are fortunate enough to have their own gas contribute uh, production in, the, in, their, in their country, sorry, all other countries that have gas reserves have a reservation set aside for domestic consumption, generally for manufacturing. And so hence they've been able to build strong manufacturing capacity on the back of that. For some reason, Australia at various times in the past decades, two decades has decided not to go down that route. And as a consequence, Quenos is one of the most significant country, companies that we're going to lose. It is possible Unfortunately, with this continued lack of providing a sure foundation for Australian manufacturing, we may see other companies also choose to go offshore. OK, so the one thing that we should explain to people here, this is not gas that is required to heat something up. This is not gas that's going to be burnt. This is gas that's going to be used in the production of the raw material that makes the pipes that are in our plumbing. Absolutely correctly. So much of the focus to date on gas has been around the consumption of gas for burning, to heat our homes, to uh, provide for boilers, for manufacturing. But it's not that which is the most valuable use at all, because once it's gone, it's burnt and gone. And we have carbon emissions as a consequence. The most valuable thing we can do with these scarce resources that are finite is actually to use them for productive purposes, such as the pipes on which our modern lives, all our water supply depends. So now with the closure of Quenos, if we want to have polyethylene coming into the country, it's going to be imported as resin or as finished product. So we will lose that foundational uh, sovereign security as a loss of this, as a consequence of this loss of Quenos. I'll tell you what, Helen, good to have you on the program. It is concerning and we'll certainly take this up with the government as well. Many thanks for your time.